of the Greek Economic Forum. I'm really sorry for not being able to attend this very important event, but California is a rather distant place from Brussels, and my academic commitments in the middle of the semester did not allow me to travel to Europe. I'm Fokiona Golfopoulos, Professor of Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering at the University of Southern California. I left Greece in 1983 to pursue graduate studies in the US, where I reside since then. During that time, I witnessed many changes in Greece, with the standards of living being raised to remarkable levels, and with the Greek people enjoying prosperity. I'm a scientist and understand physics, chemistry, and mathematics, but in the recent years, I had to force myself to learn some economic principles so that I can get a feeling of what happened in Greece. But then I start thinking that maybe I should learn more about sociology and history, among others, so that I can explain in my own mind where the problem is. The blame game can continue, and there is a lot to blame, but the key, he, uh, the key issue is how Greece and its people can move forward. Regardless what theories any of us has about moving forward, the bottom line is the reduction of unemployment and the ability of the average citizen to feed his or her family. Development and innovation can help, but at the same time, all habits and outdated practices need to be rejected and eliminated. In the year 2000, I was visiting with a government official in charge of technology, who told me that Greece does not need to invest much in innovation, as other countries do that, and that Greece can always support their products. Fascinating statement. I have been asked to focus my thoughts on the role of the Greek defense industry that some try to extinct, and which on the other hand could produce new jobs. This morning, Friday, February 21st, 2014, I was browsing the Greek newspapers, and interestingly enough, I noted two articles. In one of the articles, it was reported that Turkey built an unmanned aerial spy vehicle. In the other article, it was reported that the Greek justice system was filing criminal charges against nine senior members of the Greek Defense Systems Organization for corruption. What a contrast. The defense industry in any country can play an important role in the autonomy and self-reliance of the armed forces and can be key to technological advances and the creation of jobs. Furthermore, many private companies can flourish around a well-managed defense industry. Defense-related products could be exported also to other countries and create thus income. During the 1980 to 2004 period, many efforts were made towards that direction. But we all know that the actions taken were not appropriate and what happened at the end will defense defense-related defense contracts. At the same time, many may not know that a small country like Greece is in a position to build new submarines and to overhaul old ones, to build frigates, to overhaul modern fighter planes and their engines, to produce high-quality ammunition, and to develop state-of-the-art electronics and communication systems. This is a result of the excellent, excellent training hard work, sacrifices, and of course, the ingenuity of the Greek technical uh, personnel. The current, the current crisis in, in, Greek, in Greece uh, has obvious adverse effects, but also oppor offers opportunities, given that the Greek economy can be competitive compared to other European countries and can produce products at a lower cost. For the effective development of the Greek defense industry, there are four points that need to be addressed. First, the Greek armed forces need to purchase the majority of their supplies from the Greek defense industry and to support efforts to modernize the industry through state-of-the-art equipment and the hiring of highly skilled personnel. Second, the Greek armed forces, in collaboration with the Ministry of Defense, need to establish a legal framework so that the unused supplies are sold to third parties, including foreign countries, and generate as income. Third, Portions of the offsets of major defense contracts should be used towards improving the Greek defense industry. And finally, fourth, take advantage of existing strengths in infrastructure and expertise of the various sectors, sectors of the Greek defense industry and build on them. Having lived 30 years in the US and being involved in numerous defense-related projects and initiatives, I have witnessed many success stories stemming from advances in the US defense industry 
and related to the US economy and technological advances. In closing, I want to wish, to wish you the very best for a productive meeting and I'm confident of its success given the high quality and all this diversity of the participants. I'm also looking forward to join you in the near future.